What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series. Alright so you can see I joined a new clan the Black Widow. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about what I'm going to upgrade today though and that's actually going to be my town hall up to level 8. So I'm going to be upgrading the walls while it takes my town hall 8 days to upgrade that way I don't waste any time. But uh, town hall 8 is definitely a big upgrade. You're getting a ton of new buildings. You actually have a chance of defending your base which is pretty nice. So well, we're going to need to get 2 million gold in order to do the upgrade. So let's go ahead and do some raids and see what we can get. So it actually took me 19 minutes to find my first base. Took a long time, I wasn't finding any good loot at all until I came across this one with 420,000 gold, or 420,000 resources available. So I uh, definitely am gonna be attacking this one and looking at where I want to attack first of all, you can see there's the wizard towers on the outside and I'm gonna go ahead and drop one giant, follow it up by six archers and those will actually be good enough to take care of those wizard towers. So that's really, really important. I've taken care of two of the four splash damages within like the first five seconds of the raid and now there's only two mortars left that can deal with both my archers and my barbarians so it should definitely be a lot easier to get inside of the base and let me go ahead and start attacking from both sides all right so i have some troops on the bottom just to take care of those mines and pumps that are right there i'm going to go ahead and drop most of my troops on the very top to get the town hall as well as that gold mines that's in the center and i think we have a decent shot to get three getting three stars on this base unless those cannons and archer towers on the bottom don't get taken care of so i'm just going to drop most of my troops and as i follow up you can see my goblins are going in my archers going in and uh, yeah things are looking pretty good so far all right so the storage is going down it looks like there's a decent amount inside of the storage is really not too much actually i don't see anything so it's pretty much all inside of the mines and pumps and uh, let's see if my archers can shoot over the top and take care of most of those mines and pumps so the archers are doing a good job you can see the archer tower changes that they did a couple of months ago to where they shoot faster now is actually going to be a big deal against my archers and if you look at that archer tower on the left hand side it's pretty much a machine gun uh, just shooting down my archers one by one so my archers shooting that cannon they're shooting this elixir pump right here and it looks like we're going to get all the resources for this raid but unfortunately i don't know if we're going to be able to get three stars i could drop the clan castle i'm not exactly sure what's inside of it i could drop my lightning spell but as uh, seeing as it's just 20 trophies and honestly i don't care about too much about trophies right now i'm just gonna go ahead and let my archers die and then end the battle after they go down so overall pretty successful raid we didn't get the three star as that archer shoots that elixir storage one more time 223,000 gold 201,000 elixir definitely a great raid plus 13 trophies and a little bit of a loot bonus so after searching for 20 minutes it was definitely nice to find that one and uh, let's go ahead and look at this next base right here all right, so 500,000 resources available. This one's looking really good. I think it's actually a pretty good mix between the mines, pumps, and storages. So I'm going to have to make my way into the center of this base. And before I do anything, though, I'm definitely going to take care of the mines and pumps because I think most of the stuff is inside of the mines and pumps. So for these elixir collectors right here, I'm just going to drop some wall breakers followed up by my barbarians and archers. I do have some minions as well if I want to drop those guys. But uh, I'm just going to drop these down here and then I'm going to focus on the top left-hand side of the base to try to get the gold and then some of those gold storages. All right, so troops are doing a good job. Looks like the archers are out of range of the wizard tower, so that's fine. And then now I'm just going to focus on the top left, and let's go ahead and drop our troops right now. All right, so we're doing a good job. There are those two mortars, so I want to keep those mortars busy. That's why I'm dropping those barbarians right here and the archers, uh, so they don't the mortars don't attack my troops on the left-hand side that are actually doing the most damage inside of the base. And as they do work, you can see I'm getting the majority of the gold uh, from those pump or those mines, and there's only 50,000 left inside of the storages. So it's definitely worth it to spam the rest of my troops to get those couple of storages that are left. They're just going to shoot over the top and get that gold. And as far as elixir goes, I don't know if I'm too worried about getting to the elixir storages, seeing as I'm really just trying to upgrade my town hall. Um, so as they shoot those storages and the archer towers down, we're going to be at 66%. And now it's just I have to decide or not whether I'm going to be able to get to... Uh, to 100%. So I could drop my troops, I could drop in the middle of all those defenses, but honestly, I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to go ahead and end the battle, take my 454,000 resources, and get out of there. So really nice raid right there. That one was definitely pretty profitable. And look, let's look at this next one here, and this guy actually has 300,000 gold and 244,000 elixir. So I actually brought dragons for this army composition, and looking at where I want to drop my lightning spells, definitely want to take care of the level 2 air defense before, uh, instead of the level 1, which makes obvious sense. And then now I'm going to drop my barbarians and archer from the top left hand side and once that air defense goes down i can actually just spray and pray my dragons and i should be able to get three stars on this base looks like the air defense didn't go down just yet though so i'm gonna have to drop one more lightning spell but uh, once my dragons go down 
I think I'm going to drop them on the bottom left hand side to take care of that first archer tower and then they'll sort of just run their way around the map and seeing as lower level town halls really can't defend well against dragons I think four level ones should be more than enough so let me drop that lightning spell on that second air or that level two air defense and then now the dragons are going down and they're going to be running around the base so the people were nice enough to donate me uh, a dragon which is pretty nice it fits right in with my army composition so shout out to those guys and then my troops are just going to run their way around a circle and slowly but surely they should destroy the base looking at what air defense this guy actually has left he has two wizard towers which are really really inefficient against dragons and then that one archer tower on the top right hand side so again air attacks are pretty op at town hall seven and uh, this raid is actually a pretty good example i just took care of that one air defense with my lightning spells took care of the other one with some barbarians and archers and then the rest of my five dragons are just going to run around the base and uh, at most i'd say one dragon would die but uh, they might all survive towards the end of this raid so yeah, things are pretty good. I did actually reach 2 million gold and 2.1 million elixir, sort of what I was like in that last episode. Um, I think I got 2 million of each as well, and that's actually going to be enough to upgrade my town hall as well as do an upgrade, I think, inside of my laboratory. I'm probably going to upgrade my dragons. I sort of wanted to do that in the last episode, but I did a barracks instead. I'm going to drop my barbarian king to go ahead and run around the base and finish up this raid a little bit quicker. But in the end, 300,000 gold, 244,000 elixir, 14 trophies, and that should be good enough for this raid. One thing that actually did happen uh, while we go back to base is I got over 1,250 trophies for the first time. I really haven't trophy pushed on this account at all, but I'm at 1,254, and because of that, you can see I got 450 free gems uh, for hitting that milestone. For any of you guys who don't want to pay for your builder huts or anything like that, um, like I did on this account, which is the only time uh, that I really use gems besides speeding up troops, if you guys want to get 450 free gems, it's definitely the best to push to 1,250 trophies as quickly as you can, and 450 free gems gives you almost enough for the for the third builder hut which costs 500 so really nice to get those extra gems for hitting that milestone of 1250 i'm going to go ahead and upgrade that town hall i'm going to go ahead and upgrade my dragons right here for 2 million elixir which will help out in all those air attacks and uh, we're on our way to town hall 8 which should be a pretty interesting ride shout out to the guys for black widow for letting me join their clan again if you guys want me to join your clan just drop your clan tag as well as your name so i can give you a shout out and uh, yeah pretty good stuff inside of the black widow having fun joining these clans and we're finally on our way to town hall 8 so lots of new buildings again the loot is still pretty good at town hall 8 so i'm not worried about that we're gonna have a lot of stuff to upgrade but over these next couple of days i'm gonna finish up some of the loose ends like doing my barracks and doing my walls so i'll probably post another episode or two before town hall 8 uh, while i try to knock those guys out so yeah that's gonna do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed this let's play episode and i will see you guys in the next video peace out